Hey guys, just got this in today from Best Buy. Now this is just an unboxing video, but I do have a setup video for you guys. So just look under the description of this video and you guys will see a link that will take you to the setup of this. Um, now, yes, you can use it right away, sure. However, it's always better if you have Mac to set it up the way that I show you in the video. It's just, I, the way I show you is just make it 100% compatible with your Mac and PC, as well as set up Time Machine if you guys haven't used that before. So just make sure to watch that video. You guys will like it a lot. It will help you out just with the basic setup of this hard drive. Um, and whichever hard drive you guys have, actually, it's going to help you out. Same thing with USB sticks. It's always better to format them. Um, something specifically for Mac and something for PC. It's just safer from my experience. Anyways, uh, let's just take a look at this hard drive. Now I've had really good experience with this brand of hard drives. Okay, now these are 3.0 and compatible with USB 2.0, which is fine for older Macs that don't have 2. Point, that don't have 3.0. Um, usually all hard drives are 3.0. They're usually compatible with 3.2 with 2.2 or 2.0 so you don't have to worry about that this is the hard drive let's see what else you get in here there you go the adapter and just a little booklet right here i'm just gonna set this apart now this is a five terabyte 3.0 usb so that means it's pretty fast transferring stuff and here you have some stuff um you can Go into the website and register this, sure. Now, software that comes in here, I would not use it, okay? Um, I would format this myself and use it however I want. So I wouldn't use just the software that's already inside of here, okay? I would erase it all and use my own stuff, just like a USB stick and back up my stuff with this. So this is how it looks like. It's, uh heavy it's on the heavy side for yeah when I compare this with the uh, Seagate 5 terabyte this is a lot heavier it's not not double the heaviness but it, it's um, one fourth more heavier than the uh, Seagate 5 terabyte now with WD like I said I've always had good experience with these guys this brand has been the best for me um, the Last one I had lasted five years, and um, who knows how much more it lasted than that because I sold it. So who knows? Who knows how much more? And the good thing about this one versus uh, some of the Seagate ones that I've seen is this has a power button, so that's really good. That way you can always keep it connected, and um, that's all good. With uh, some of the Seagate ones, um, they don't have a power switch, so. You have to just unplug this constantly. So once you're done using it, just unplug it, and then you can just leave the USB plugged into your computer. Um, but this one's pretty nice because you have this. So that is a nice feature to have. It's not a must. I, I don't see it like a must-have. But because I do have a couple Seagate ones, and they've been working all right for a year now. Um, so that brand, so far, so good. Uh, but like I said, WD is the one that I mostly like. And this external hard drive looks pretty good, pretty solid. Now you do need external power for one of these. And uh, that's a good thing. Some people want the passport ones because you don't need external power. But these ones are a little bit more reliable. And um, the fact that they need external power, is, it's not a bad thing. They actually do run faster than the... Uh, the ones that I've seen, the passport ones. They run just a little bit faster, they're a little bit more secure. Um, obviously less portable since they're heavier and bigger, but I would actually recommend these over the passport ones, okay? Anyways, that's it for this unboxing. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.